Hello my beauty! So spring is upon us and I thought why not do a fresh makeup look with some really affordable products and because I'm in Australia and I think the easiest and closest thing that I can get to um, affordable and on a budget is makeup from Daiso and Daiso is pretty much like a $2.80 shop here so everything in there is $2.80 or around that. So I thought to do a quick makeup tutorial for you guys with all the products from Daiso which includes makeup brushes and sponges so I haven't used anything but Daiso products including tools which is actually quite of a challenge because I love my brushes and I love what I'm comfortable using so when I'm using something that's not you know like it's foreign to me that it kind of gets a little bit tricky so anyways if you are interested to how I achieve this look then keep watching so here we go here is my big bag from Daiso and to be honest I try not to spend too much time in there because I didn't want to end up buying the whole store as always start with clean and moisturized face I picked up the BB cream which I thought was the safest way to go Unfortunately, there wasn't any testers to try out the colors, so I think I might turn out looking like a geisha. Using my trusty Daiso sponges, I'm going to spread this all over my face and pat in the color so I can get as much coverage as I can, since I didn't get any concealers. I guess I was feeling extra confident in my skin. So about 20 minutes later, I finally got my base on. I'm going to set everything with the super cute powder, which is actually quite shimmery under the light. Again, there wasn't any testers, so now this is a geisha makeup tutorial. Just kidding. Next is moving on to the eyes, and I actually got two eyebrow pencils. Wasn't too sure which color was going to be right, so when in doubt, get both. The first one was a slanted tip, and the color was more of a cooler undertone. The texture, however, was more powdery. The pointed tip one in pink is actually more of a reddish undertone with a waxier texture. So I'm going to mix them and use both. Now is eyeshadow time. I chose this palette since it had some really pretty pastel colors like pink and lavender. Yep, you guessed it, it had purple. So using the sponge applicator provided in this palette, I'm going to apply the peachy pink color all over my mobile eyelid. Then using the slimmer end of the applicator and grabbing that purple color, apply it along the lash line and wing it out slightly. Remember to apply some of that purple color to the outer bottom corners to connect the wing. Next is using that sparkly goldish white color and apply that to the inner corners and the center of the eyelid to brighten up the eyes. Now moving on to eyeliner. There were so many to choose from. I end up getting this wind up one with the refills. It looks brown in the package, but when applied, it's actually more green. Using a blending brush from Daiso and the contour color, I'm going to warm up the eyes by blending the outer corners. Then using the same contour color and brush, I'm going to apply some shadow on the sides of my nose. Blend out with your fingers if required. Then it's eyelash time. Since I have lash extensions in, I'm going to just use lashes to add a bit more volume. While still using a mascara to coat my bottom lashes to balance out the eye look. Now I'm going to bring some life back into my face with the angled blush brush and the contour color to carve out some cheekbones and jawline. Yay! I look more alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! Then it's blush time. I picked up this two-tone pink blush using the brush provided. I'm going to apply it right above the contour. and then use the lighter color, which is super shimmery. I'm gonna use that as a highlight and apply that to the cheekbones. Now on to lips. The packaging of these lipsticks caught my eye and again, when in doubt, get both. I chose a rosy pink and a corally orange color to mix them together to get the lip color I wanted for this look. First, I'm going to use a rosy pink one and outline my lips, focusing on getting the outer line precise and even. Then I'm going to use this orangey color and apply that to the center of the lips. This creates that more natural three-dimensional lip. What do you think? And now the look is complete. You can always finish off with some liquid eyeliner over the lash band for a more dramatic look.
My sweet and adorable friend Nancy from Beauty XBB did a collaboration with me, so make sure you go and check her tutorial out on her channel and show her some love because I have the best subbies in the world. So this is a complete look and I know obviously when you have clothes and hair done everything just look completely different and after a little while the foundation is starting to wear in a little bit so it does look less like ghostly and pale and freaky so it does um, need a bit of tender loving care and a bit more time than usual to sort of blend in and meld in with your skin and obviously not all products are like up to my standard but a lot of them stuff is pretty good if you are in a quick sort of look in under a budget then that's a place to go tell me what is your favorite beauty product from Daiso whether it's the lipstick or maybe a brush or something anything that you guys discover let me know as well Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you had a lovely week and I will see you in my next video and happy spring.